I'm Andrea Hermery, and I was the director for Immortally Wounded. I'm Margaret Fletcher, and I'm one of the production designers on Immortally Wounded. I'm Andrew Hopkins, and I'm also a production designer. When I finally saw the location, it was absolutely perfect, and I didn't like, it seemed like I didn't really need to buy much, and it seemed mostly we needed to focus on wardrobe. Andrea liked the dresses from a different costume rental house called Boolala Costumes. Uh, better. Great place. Yeah, awesome costumes there. Who's the third dress? What? What? Why do we have two, three dresses? Margaret had this uh, book of um, period wardrobes that she carried around, and we got a real <laughs> sense of uh, what what people were wearing in that era. So, like, we wanted to get it, like, pretty much just, like, bang on, really. We had a torrentially pouring rain. We had snow. And then we had, bl like, blinding sun. So, you name it, <laughs> we came across it. We threw up some sea stands, threw up a tent cover, and uh, put it over our actors. <laughs> And um, we put them, and they were real troopers. We put them under that and we sat in there and had them in the rain for split seconds, but covered them up. Yeah, and also on, on the day we did the period costumes. Like if they fell on oh. the grass, that would have been such an issue. Uh -huh. This is so slippery. I was possible we did it, but it was difficult, to say the least. There's one sort of continuity problem that we had, which was that we had Nike shoes on that... the set. Paintings though, those were, those were pretty fun. Each crew member took on a painting. I painted a painting of uh, Helena and yeah, it was, it was very strange because I had to crop the actress's face onto this sort of like renaissance looking painting. We had uh, frames that Andrea had assembled um, like these days weren't, you know, actual frames, she, she put them together and some of the canvases didn't exactly fit quite. <laughs> and then um, we had to attach the fishing wire to the back of the frames with packing tape. Yeah. And then And then the later next day we had blue. Yeah, we had a glue gun, which was awesome. Uh, because the wand just did not want to stay up. It's glue gunned to the frame. The stamp thing that should is... stay up now. I don't think this film would be what it is without the awesome production design we had. It was a nice experience to see what it was like to be a production designer for sure.